Hello everybody, welcome to Capture One Comparisons, where we do the exact same edit in Capture One and Lightroom Classic to see if there are differences between these two softwares. And today we're going to be recovering highlights. So the very first uh, comparison that I did was recovering underexposed areas. And today we're going to do the opposite. We're going to try to recover highlights that are overexposed, which is, you might know, the more difficult job. So let's come here. We have the same overexposed image uh, inside of here, Lightroom Classic, and here, Capture One. And we're going to zoom in because we want to take a look very explicitly at just this area where it's really, really overexposed. And we are going to, as always, limit the number of things we are doing inside of the software so that we have a more direct comparison. Now, in a recent video, I shared that uh, images that are brought into Lightroom Classic have more contrast added to them than in Capture One. And this actually made our white balance adjustment video look better. I thought that the white balance adjustment looked really, really good. The white was really nice and poppy uh, when we did that white balance adjustment. But that's actually, I think, going to prove a little bit detrimental here in uh, recovering highlights with Lightroom Classic. So let's see what happens. We're going to start by just taking our highlight slider and just dragging it all the way down. Now we're not looking at the total adjustment, right? Uh, you know, of saying, hey, let's also look at our shadows or our midtones. We're just looking at the highlights. And let's do the exact same thing here inside of Capture One. Drag that in. And we, of course, cannot recover the sky, it looks like, in either of these. But if we take a look at the roof that we have, we're getting, I think, marginally more separation and contrast inside of Capture One. And let's take this a little bit farther. Let's take our exposure down. And we had a question about this before. The uh, In Capture One, with the uh, exposure slider, this is measured in stops. The brightness slider is not. So they are different measurements. Important to kind of note there. And let's do the same thing here inside of Lightroom Classic. We're going to bring this down to a negative four. Now, importantly, and we noted this before, you have five stops of adjustment in Lightroom Classic. You have four inside of Capture One. So I could actually take this darker, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But as we can see here, looking at, uh, at this section, the roof and then the tree, we're getting that strange separation uh, of the trees a little bit more prominently. And we're seeing a darker roof because it is a higher contrast initial image. Come back over here into Capture One, and we are actually seeing uh, that this is less of that very strange separation with the trees, and I think a little bit more realistic rendering of the roof itself. Now I could actually take this even darker in Lightroom Classic, but that's not actually helping us uh, really uh, with this particular image. But you do have more latitude. So here we have more contrast in the roof. I don't think that's necessarily helping the quality of this recovery, uh, but it does help being able to make it darker. And we're getting that separation from the area that has detail to the area that does not, which is a little bit less pronounced here in Capture One. So I would make the argument here that while neither of them can recover miracles, right, of this sky that's so dramatically overexposed, I would say we get a more realistic uh, uh, recovery from really overexposed areas inside of Capture One uh, because the image is more contrasty initially uh, inside of Lightroom Classic. Now, of course, as I mentioned before, if I wanted to bring down contrast or do additional adjustments, of course I can, 100%. But just looking at these two basic sliders and what we can achieve, there's definitely a difference in the way that this area is rendered. So just to be able to show folks, here is our before uh, for both of them, of course, and after. So that's what we're coming from. So both of them really recovering quite a bit uh, dramatically. I'm quite impressed by that. Uh, those before and after in Lightroom as well. Um, but if I had to give an opinion, it would be that the Capture One rendering and recovery, I like the quality of that a little bit better. All right, that's what I've got for you this time. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.